like a grown jerk. We should all like had to do now was finish homework. It's true, you don't realize. You know, half really stepping with Marcus J. We're back from a quick break. So Lil Lamar definitely counts as a one hit one. I don't know if that can. Like yeah. Was it even a real, real hit? But you know what, though? That drug was, was hot, so man. I ain't going front, yo. Really yeah. Big, Big Ruby is just hating over there. I'm not today, saying Ruby, 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 I mean, Ruby I man, because his Redskins going to be shut out. Oh, man. God. Here we go. We talked about that an hour ago. We ain't talking about <laughs> that no more. And you don't get to talk football again for a week. So <laughs> you talk next week. We we can't talk to you about football no more. Cause He's not going to be here next you week. You want some nonsense. Ain't no half stepping. I'm talking about this guy over here. Ain't no half stepping with Mark. Marcus J. A couple things I want to get call. into. I'm going to just kind of lay out. I'm going to go to Grizzly first. Yes. Um, People bugging out, Grizz. Yes, and I want to know what the hell is going on. <laughs> the stories that I'm about to get into, I'm not going to get into specifics. But when I get into them generally, these are things that are Googleable. It's not a word, but. It's a word now. It's a word now. You can Google these. By using the phrase that I use, you will find these stories because they're out there. They have Actual, their real true stories. Actual Google searches. So yes. So President Barack Hussein Obama was elected for his second term as the president know. of the United States two weeks ago tomorrow. You've had weird things happen in the aftermath of that. You've had people signing paperwork to secede from the the, the union, which I'm gonna come back to that. Because I want to spend a little time talking about secession mm-hmm. um, More specifically But more generally Just the whole idea of these people Just bugging out Where you've got the Arizona Store, gun store owner Who's banning Obama supporters He's got a sign in his window that says If you voted for Barack Obama your money's not good here but How would he know? But go ahead <laughs> You've got another person in Arizona A woman mm. who Hus- whose husband did not vote. Not that he didn't vote for President Obama. He, 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 did, he didn't make it to the polls for whatever reason. Mm-hmm. And an, an argument ensued, which culminated with her running him down with her car boy, and having him boy. end up in the hospital in critical condition. And the reason for it is because he didn't vote. You also had a man in Florida who was 64 years old who owned a tanning salon. This man told friends prior to the election that if President Barack Hussein Obama was reelected as President of the United States that he wouldn't be around to see the second term Mm. he was found a few days after the election dead in his home of a drug overdose natural selection fair enough (laughs) fair fair enough fair fair, fair enough fair enough I'm going to start with you on this Grizzly and there's other directions that I want to go in but I'm going to just kind of leave it there because I think I set it up enough these people out their damn minds. Well, what the hell is coming? I mean, this segment is called "What the Hell." All right. What the hell is going on with these people? Well, what the hell is going on is pretty much a a a, a third or almost a, a half of this country is still stuck in the 1860s. Notice all those states you said are south of the Mason Dixon. Notice if you look at the election map of this current election, who voted as far as which states went where. You know. Progressive progressiveness and liberalism are two separate things, but conservatism they 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 tend to still want to hold on to this old ma- mantra. This is our country. We're going to take our country back, and they're not letting you know some of some of these some of these people who believe who who think in this what the hell segment that you're talking about. They're ignoring the numerical facts, and I like numerical and historical facts. And for the first, being that I saw Lincoln last weekend, it reminded me of the 2012 election on what was taking place in the divide between the country. I'm by all means not saying that the country is headed for a civil war, civil war right now, although I know some of you Rebs down south would love for that to happen. But you lost. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get that. You know, I don't get that, but real, to, to, to real quick, quickly uh, wrap that part, this point up that I'm saying is that, you know, the numbers don't add up as far as people with intelligence, because I honestly don't think the right has intelligence the way they give away votes or the way they block off whole percentages of people and not put off policies that apply to 
other people who don't look like them. So, you know, they're very exclusionary, and it's just it's fear. It's a whole bunch of stuff, and it's just so it's not sad because I think those people, like Roop said, natural selection. <laughs> natural selection. I really, you know, it, that's what it is. Is there are some people who are not meant to be here, and you know. If if you're gonna like old dude in Florida, I apologize to his family, but I'm gonna be honest with you. If you're gonna kill kill yourself because somebody got elected, yeah, I'm sorry, not selection. If you're gonna run over your husband because he didn't vote, that's not selection. If you're gonna, you know, I mean, well, if you voted for Obama, even though I can't prove you voted for Obama, you vote for Obama, you can't shop here. That's your, that's, your good, that's your good southern I mean, Because eventually he's going to go broke And he's going to do whatever You know To me all this is stupid I don't want to say it's funny Because it really isn't oh, I think it's funny But <laughs> I think it's hilarious. But I mean I just think that You know This goes to show What we talked about last week With the in, With the people who voted In the different states mm-hmm. The intelligence And all And the education right. In those locations Are I mean, it is what it is. Where's Mississippi ranked? Somebody look that up. Man, Mississippi's bottom ten. Gotta be. Where's Alabama ranked? Bottom look 10. it up. We did that last week. It's on the it's on the website. It's like, and here's the thing, Rube. It's like it'd be different if if it was this was Jim Crow and they were saying, well, black people couldn't vote, or black people or people of color don't have the right to sit in chairs because you are naturally dumb. Uh, we proved that we're not. You know, but y'all are constantly, constantly proving yeah. in and out the how stupid and ridiculous and lack of smarts you know what hey i'm gonna give something out to the republican party you know what will help the republican party how about you defend your women Please. you don't want to give your women the right to to have abortion how about you help Five, if you change on that i mean you might get more votes and here's something that the republican party needs to understand again referring back to the lincoln movie i saw last week lincoln was a republican the Republicans were the ones that were the Democrats 150 years ago being progressive. Blacks had the votes before women had the right to vote. Tells you something. Who was fighting who back then? Go ahead. Well, I look at it like this. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Lead this. Lead the union. Don't ask for any money for any repairs or natural disasters or, or any of that when it, had, when it comes down to it. When your state is flooded, FEMA won't be there. When your state is having an earthquake, Red Cross won't be there. We thank you for the money that you've already given us. You know, great. We appreciate that. When you need funding for um, a bridge you know, to nowhere, a bridge to wherever, you want to come across that bridge, here's that toll booth right here waiting for you. Just letting you know. A lot of room in Mexico. It's $50 Not a week. Not only a back lot of room too. in Mexico, but if you secede, and, and it's a good transition, Carlton, uh, to to talk about secession because I did want to talk a little bit about that. Uh, Texas, Texas gonna be blue soon, y'all. You got San Antonio, Dallas, and Houston, and Austin, that, and and Austin. Most of them voted blue in this last election. It's only a matter of time. You y'all might think I'm tripping. Go go look at go look at the map right, and don't. see how these people voted in this election, and you'll see. With the Hispanic vote voting for the Democrats in this case, seventy three percent. Last time it was sixty seven percent for John McCain, uh, and then the Asians their votes gone up, and then of course the blacks. A lot of people want to trip off of all black people voting for Barack Obama because nah. black. That's some old bull because black people just vote Democrat. That's just how they roll, mm-hmm. you know. Because Bill Clinton was getting like ninety one percent, and now Barack Obama's getting ninety three percent. So it ain't it ain't about that. But but see, but here's the thing. You want to secede? Go ahead and secede. And like Colin said, not only are you not getting federal funds for disasters, but you're not getting protection for when Mexico wants to come and take y'all over. <laughs> you you mean, know what I mean? You mean you, Mexico you, wants you, its territory you, you, back? You, yeah, Mexico. <laughs> Mexico wants their space back. You're Arriba. Not, you, you, yeah, you're not. You're not Latino getting any. Santana. You're not getting any protection for that. But 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 in all seriousness, you know what you are if you sign that secession uh, uh, application. You're a traitor. Basically, you are a traitor. You want to leave the United States and become part of another country. Basically, and, and, and we and, and the union might not be as forgiving as the last go round. Well, but see, <laughs> the thing we is, re- you, you, you're really them. trying to. But see, right. that's that's the whole thing about why 
This is asinine. Right. It's asinine because the people who are signing these petitions are not paying attention to not only history, but to logic. Because if the people, and I said this last week on the show, if mm-hmm. people in New Jersey, just say, let's just say that Hurricane Sandy happened a month from now and they were successful in seceding now, mm-hmm. they wouldn't have gotten any help. Done. They would have been done. They they been New Jersey, and- New York. Whoever it was, they, they would have sat there and drowned and said, they "We're going to do this all they, by ourselves." They would have been out of luck. They wouldn't have gotten Drowning. any federal funds. You know, all 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 of that. You know, you know, like you said, the bridges, yeah, and getting all kinds of assistance. You don't get none of that if you're not part of the the, the government. If right. you're not part of the federal government, cancel Christmas. That's it. it. It's a wrap. So these people are not paying attention, and they're not paying attention to history. They're not paying attention to logic because, again, real talk, big rule. They tried secession before. They had a war because of it, and they ass got beat. So what? Are, what are you doing? And they, I mean, I, I ain't trying to. You know, it's gonna come out how it come out. There are more of us now than they were then. Well, see, not only that, not only <laughs> that, not only that. When they seceded or tried to secede before, they were the ones that came back and realized, you know what, we probably can't do this because. We need the federal, you know, the federal government. They were they, the, need, they were they so quick to be readmitted, and to the South was yeah. begging to come back to and come then back into figure, the union because they were so broke and so. I mean, pretty much one in five and one in four. Men but people were don't dead. like to make this a black or white thing. It's not, it's I, black don't, and white, I don't. I don't. Like, I don't like. I typically try to avoid interjecting color and race when it's not necessary, but. Consider the fact you hear that the black people's trying to because well no <laughs> no no but it ended up it, but but at the end of the day it's a situation where y'all asses lost y'all mad y'all lost and y'all pouting you just took your ball and you went home at yeah. the end of the day George Bush the first got sixty percent of the white vote in nineteen eighty eight and beat Michael Dukakis in the landslide I was on last week I said Walter Mondale I said that in error it was actually Michael Dukakis he well, beat Mondale got his ass whooped too. well he did but <laughs> but by, by, by Reagan in eighty four but right. in eighty eight Michael Dukakis caucus got beat by a landslide with 60% of the white vote, right? Right. Barack Obama wiped the floor with Mitt Romney this year with 60% of the white vote for going for Romney. Now, one thing I want to introduce, Ruben, I'm going to let you make your point, but I want to introduce something. I want to ask you a question. Yeah. Did you get your gift? I don't want to know what that is. Did you get your gift? Oh, you're talking about the Romney gift. Mitt Romney has said... Twice again. Mitt Romney (laughs) has said... That the people, minorities, which I am a proud member of a minority, oh, yeah, that, yeah. I'm black the race. Reason why I'm a, he won. The reason why President Obama won was because he promised these grand gifts to I didn't people. get a gift. I, I didn't get a gift. I'm going to tell you, I got to pay for my health I'm thinking. Care. I'm thinking. Nah, I pay. I pay somewhere in the neighborhood of 30% in my taxes, of which he pays 14%, mm. roughly. You know, I got I got I got to pay for my physicals and I got to pay, you know, my co-pays whenever I go to the doctor and I'm not in college. So I don't get any kinds of special, you know, grants or anything like that. So I didn't get a gift. I'm waiting for mine. I just want to know, Big Rube, if you got yours. No, I didn't. Um, (laughs) When I I get it, I'll let somebody know. But, you know, to me, I always harp on numbers. I, I always harp on everything. It's clear that one that numbers don't lie. Intelligent, right. educated people voted for who they felt would help them, you know, go for another four years. Mm-hmm. Now, back in the day of the 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 Civil War and all that, the educated people did not run things. It was uh, the brash, loud people. I don't want to call them um, cavemen, as it were, but it was a brash, loud, opinionated people. This year, the, the this election, at the very least, the um the smart people voted. Came on the show. I want to give a uh, we got a hit on the Facebook page. We got said in Tennessee that's hitting it up. All right, said. Uh, said is saying, uh, and it says a long time listener. Said actually did our T-shirts for us on the eight oh, and a half okay. stepping. T-shirts. So, Big shed in so his anybody house. who needs T-shirts definitely needs to holler at him. Said live action captions uh, is a brother of mine, so definitely make sure you holler at me, th- and I'll make sure that you get to him for any T-shirts, anything that you need. But says from Tennessee, and said just say quote Now I take slight offense to the South being stupid. Hence, 
uh, that we got going on. People may not be socially educated as a whole, but they carry a wisdom a Harvard grad wouldn't understand. Very fair, very fair direction that he's taking it in Grizzly. What's your comment to that? Don't disagree. Here's the point. The numbers I'm sorry. Yeah, I don't I don't disagree with that, Sam. What I think what we're getting at is we all know in certain states in the South, even Virginia, you know, people Yeah, I guess we're Southern. Yeah, uh, people of color are the minority. And so I think what this whole campaign was about is you, you I mean Barack and his whole team know knew that they could not just win this election with minority votes. Mm-hmm. You know, you have to pick off what they call those Reagan Democrats or those de- uh, or, or folks who tend to vote who who don't look at things on party lines and just look at the facts. This guy is, is for pretty much the Richie Rich crew, and this guy, more than likely, is going to be for the working man. You know, and there are a lot. I've had a lot of not, uh, white Caucasian people come up to me and say they were voting for Obama, and the reason why they weren't voting for Romney is that Romney never had their interests at heart. So, with that comment you said about, you know, we so I, I don't put down the South. I'm from the South. I love the South. You know, I just think that over what's that phrase we used earlier? <laughs> Natural selection. Natural selection, like. If you look at a map of 1860 Southern America, tweet that. if you look at a map of 1860 Southern America and see just the population and where the majorities were, we were the majority. Mm-hmm. They brought more people, more people of color, more Africans over here to work the land, and there were actually white men that were owning plantations. You know what I'm saying? So it's a it's a power it's a power struggle and we have to understand and and we should be bridging this gap and i think even though they say this is a post racial america because we have african american president i don't believe that if anything is more partisan and more racial if anything because they really showing what has been swelling up since the civil rights era like you you, yeah. you thought that it was done but we all but i always knew that you know there were some caucasians that didn't like it's black coming folk. out yeah. now more than it ever has before it's been laying dormant because they haven't had any reason really? to come out and Great say point. anything yeah. uh they weren't angry they didn't feel like they their, had their country they didn't feel like their uh way of life was being threatened and i don't mean this in any disrespect and i'm not speaking to anybody who's not offended but if you're offended right now it's probably because you feel this way <laughs> At the end of the day, the Republican Party is speaking to the radical white person who feels in this country, if you're not white Protestant, that you don't belong here and you don't have the opportunities that they have. Now, if you're a Republican person and you speak to the original Republican tenants, principles and tenants, then you should be just as offended by what you see in your party right now as those of us who are independents and mm-hmm. those of us who are Democrats are. Because the people who are leading you right now, the people who are out in front right now, the people who say that they're for the middle class, the people who are say that they want to bring everybody up, trickle down don't work. It just doesn't. 30 years. It, it, just, it, just, it just doesn't work. And you got people who vote Republican who's just as poor as black Democrats who live in the projects who will vote Republican until they die because that's all they know. But those principles, the way they're being projected now, are not necessarily reflecting what your needs are. Mm-hmm. So as long as they don't mess with your Medicaid, you cool. You know what I'm saying? You got your small business and you don't want to pay for insurance mm-hmm. for your workers. But as long as they don't mess with the Medicaid for your mama who lives off of it, everything is cool. Right. You can't have it both ways, Big Road. No, not at all. And as, as far as you said, you know, I don't want to sit here and say, well, everybody in the, in the South is stupid. Because that's well, not the truth. You know, first of all, I want to go back to, I believe it was a week ago, two weeks ago, when we put up the... When we put up the the um, it was a screenshot on the website, basically showing the top ten um, educated states and then the bottom ten educated states, and they put what you know who they voted for, you know, Romney or, or Barack Obama. Now, I say that to say this, you know, said I hope you're not, I hope you don't feel some kind of way because I said that well the the South states are stupid. Because that's not what I—that's not what I meant to say. I didn't want to come out like that because I'm pretty sure you're a very intelligent person. 
He's now, he yeah, he, be. yeah, he's he's <laughs> fairly fairly intelligent, very intelligent. So it's one of those things that one, I'm glad that you have pride in your state, but when it's all said and done, unfortunately, you're not the only one who lives in that state. You know, if your state's in the bomb ten, I mean, I I can't do anything about that. You know, the state has to do anything about it, and I don't think Tennessee was in the bomb ten, but. You know what? Mississippi I say, is. Mississippi is. <laughs> Louisiana is. And I, you know, I love, I, I, I love the South. The thing is, is just I think they need to come up out of yeah. whatever doldrum they've been in for the last 150 well, years. And I say they, meaning the political class or, 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 or the politics. I just don't understand how the political class down there is Republican when they're poorer than me. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm say poor, the but politics are fair. I mean, you know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. It, I don't understand your demographics on voting Republican when the average Republican person, the demographics demographics Here's are completely different. <laughs> Here's a great stat, and I'll let Marcus J. wrap up with this. 2012, Barack Obama won the city of Richmond about 74% to 20-some-odd percent. 150 years ago, the city of Richmond was the capital of the Confederacy. So... What does that tell us over a 150-year time period? Not just that you know, blacks are the majority in the city, pretty yeah. much, but he won Henrico. He won... He didn't win Chesterfield. Yeah, he didn't win Chesterfield. Nah, Chesterfield he didn't win McCarran. He didn't win Hanover. Chesterfield. Chesterfield. <laughs> but I'm saying, he won... He, yeah. he, the thing is, is that the there is a progression... I, I don't even... I, I don't even like to label myself as a liberal or a conservative. Yeah. I'm a progressive person. I want to see things grow for things to be better. I don't like to see things in the conservative standpoint, things stay the same because that's what conservatives are holding on to certain things. And I'm like, yo, the country is not going along that route. The, the, just the numbers that are the uh, what's the D word? The demographics. The demographics don't go that way. And and with that, last year the northern part of Virginia won the state for Barack, for Obama. Barack Obama. This year, it wasn't the northern part of the state. Henrico. It was Henrico it was County. Henrico County. Henrico County won by a landslide. I wouldn't, say which, they, I wouldn't say that they won it for him because the northern part of Virginia definitely came out for the president. Well, that, well, that's true, but the demographics from la, from four years ago to now are virtually the same except for Henrico, Henrico County. County. Everything else is virtually the same. Well, Henrico County was Republican last year. Well, it also speaks to the fact that I can't that wait the, to get rid of Eric. It, it also it <laughs> also speaks to the fact that the Hispanic vote has been trending upward for Bubbles. the Democrats, and so has the Asian vote been trending upward for uh, Barack Obama and the Democrats. And the fact that the Republican Party has positioned themselves to be the party of the middle-aged white man. Uh, is going to be a problem for them going forward. And it's unfortunate because I'm looking for a Republican that I can vote for because some of their uh, some of their tenants I don't have issue with. I have issues with some of their messengers, and I don't trust them. You know what I mean? As an independent, I don't have issues with everything that they say. But I don't trust... A focus group would want you, a Republican focus group would want you in there. But see, that's, the how, but see that's how I roll. They don't and reach I'm, out to you, though. But they don't reach out to me. I got calls from the Mitt Romney campaign mm. towards the end. Right. But my phone number's just on the National Registry, I would guess. You got more emails why, and numbers and, from the list, yeah, right? Yeah, see, but see, the thing, but, see, but the thing is, you know, I wonder if... The people on the left on the right side even care about what I think. They don't. You know what I mean? And see, I don't want to say that, even though that's partly how I feel. It's and I know, and I know, level. and I know, I know, we need to wrap up and go right. ahead and get on out of here. But, 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 Grizzly, I want to make this final point: the fact that the people on the left appear to make the effort to appeal not just to people by the color of their skin, but by their demographic with regards to their financial status mm -hmm. are you poor we trying to help you out right. you middle class we trying to help you out mm -hmm. and it seems that they are doing things that actually speaks to that action right whereas the people on the republican side or the right side they saying it but they saying it because they know they need to get some of those votes and the only way that they can get some of those votes is to actually say it but they're actually saying one thing and doing another and that is the reason why People are not coming out for him because it's coming off as disingenuous. It's not an it's not an accident that people are shifting to the left side. Mm -hmm. Now you can look back historically and you can see 
there is always going to be ebb and flow. In the 60s, you had Democratic rule. In the 70s, you had Republican <clears throat> rule. Then you had Jimmy Carter that threw it off. And then you had Reaganomics who kind of had, you know, eight years and then Bush first for another 12. And then back to Democrats with Bill Clinton and back to Republicans with George Bush the second, and now with President Obama. So it does ebb and flow. But I do feel like if you look at the way it's going, going forward, the way the demographics of this country is, but the fact that the the left side seems to have an appeal to minorities and poor people and middle class people, they are more likely to remain in power. Congress and Senate, hey, I don't know about them, but as far as presidency, that's the way it's going. We're going to have to leave it there. Marcus J, ain't no half step, and we're going to take our final break of the night. It's going to be very brief, so don't go any place we're gonna take this quick break we're gonna come back with the rants and closings you don't want to miss it we got a whole lot for you marcus jay and i step and be back in a minute hey what's up this dvd with the legendary force and these you listen to my man marcus jay ain't no half stepping on global scale radio.net it's a mystery it's a new record every time uh-huh. 